We talked in the spring about how young this team was last mm -hmm. year. It was probably one of the youngest groups you had coming to Dale. Given everything that you mentioned they had gone through and to still make a regional final and be undefeated in the regular season, I'm assuming it exceeded your expectations. About yeah, I mean, you got to think with the amount of freshmen and sophomores we have playing with us, um, only 15 seniors on the team last year, um, those kids had to grow up fast. They had to grow up early. And, um, you know, in many cases, a lot of the kids would have played probably a little bit of both, you know, being able to go from JV to varsity week in and week out, um, you know, depending on their playing time the week before. But last year with COVID, we couldn't, you know, flip people back and forth. So, you know, a lot of those guys were just kind of thrown into those roles early and often. And, um, you know, I, I was proud of them. They handled themselves like professionals. And like I said, the young boys that, uh, that, that were there last year are now young men. Ethan, your starting quarterback last year, freshman, first career start. Uh, you know, I think, if I'm right, he was the first true freshman to start a regular season game since you've been the head coach? So, I did have Ethan Hamill, who was also on the team last year, started uh, uh, two games for us at his freshman year because of some injuries. Um, but to have a full-time, you know, starter, yeah, Ethan Minner, you know, to, to come in the way he did and perform the way he was able to perform last year was great. Um, you know, our, our depth at quarterback was, was was one of the fortunate things we had last year. We had three very capable young men that, uh, that handled the business when we needed it. And to have a guy like Ethan Minner kind of leading the way, um, you know, we, we don't really get many 6'2 guys, gunslingers around here, you know. <laughs> Thomas Dale's kind of always been known for the, the shorter athletic guys that can, that can hand the ball off and, and run a little bit. So, like I said, to have a guy that's a little bit of a dual threat um, was nice to have in our, uh, our offense. And, again, we, we've, got, uh, we've got three good ones coming back again this year. So you take a lot of pride in the fact you guys have been in the postseason eight straight years? Yes, I do. Um, that's, you know, uh, to, to me, says a lot about my coaching staff being dedicated the way they are, um, putting the time in in the off season. Says a lot about the players buying into what we believe in. You know, not many kids want to come out and play old school football the way we do it. Um, you know, we come out and we play smash mouth on defense, but we play smash mouth on offense. You know, we're going to run the ball at you. We're going to be downhill. We're going to be aggressive. And, uh, you know, just to see a group of kids come together and buy into that philosophy is still nice. And I think it comes for that blue collar mentality that Thomas Dale has always been known for. And, um, you know, again, our kids have that philosophy next man up. And uh, no one person is bigger than the other. And like I said, we, we wear that, uh, that 11 with pride every, every uh, week. And that kind of was our mantra to, to keep it going is to, you know, play for those who came before. And I think the kids have, uh, have bought into it. And like I said, hopefully we continue to do that.